Good evening, sir. My name is Devajyoti Mollik, and today I, along with my teammates, Idato Boyragi, Odhis Kormokar, Orchan Boshak, and Akash Chatterjee, are going to present a PPT on cloud computing concepts, technology, and business applications. Next slide, please. Enter, enter the cloud. Cloud computing is internet-based computing, whereas shared resource, uh, whereby shared resources, software, and information are provided to computers and other devices on demand, like the electricity grid. The cloud computing is a culmination of numerous attempts at large-scale computing with seamless access to virtually limitless resources. Now, on-demand computing, utility computing, uh, ubiquitous, ubiquitous computing, automatic computing, platform computing, edge computing, elastic computing, and grid computing. Next a slide, please. It is, it, is cha uh, it is a changed world now. Explosive growth in applications, biomedical informatics, space exploration, business analytics, web 2.0, social networking, YouTube and Facebook. Now, extreme scale content generation, e-science and e-business data deluge. <coughs> Extraordinary rate of digital content consumption. Uh, external uh, sorry extraordinary rate of digital content consumption digital gluttony apple iphone ipad amazon kindle exponential growth <coughs> in compute ca capabilities multi core storage bandwidth virtual machine virtualization very short cycle of ob obsolescence in technology windows vista to windows 7 java version c to c sharp and python New architectures, web services, persistence models, distributed file systems or repositories, Google or Hadoop, uh, multi-core, wireless and mobile. Diverse knowledge and skill levels of the workforce, you simply cannot manage this complex situation with a traditional IT infrastructure. Now I would like to call upon Akash Chatterjee to continue with the PPT. Uh, thank you Debutaji for the introduction. Uh, now sir we see the answer to cloud computing. So first we see the typical requirements and models. First we have uh, platform, then software, infrastructure, service-based application programming interface. The cloud computing environment can provide one or more of these requirements for a cost. Pay as you go model of business. Uh, number four, we have when using a public cloud, the model is similar to renting a property than owning one. Number five, we have an organization could also maintain a private cloud and or use both. Next slide. So here we see common features of cloud providers, uh, development environment where IDE, SDK plugins are used for production environment. Then we see the simple storage, table storage, drives, which is accessible through web services, and uh, management control and monitoring tools and multi-level security. Now I'll like uh, my friend uh, Audrey to continue. Well, thank you Akash for the introduction. Now I'll be talking about something which is known as Windows Azure. Now what is Windows Azure? Windows Azure is basically an enterprise level on-demand capacity builder. It is fabric of cycles and storage available on request for a cost. You have to use Azure API to work with the infrastructure offered by Microsoft. Significant features of uh, Windows Azure includes which are as follows. Web role, worker role, blob storage, table and drive storage. Next slide please. <coughs> Next. Next slide, please. Uh, Amazon uh, EC2. Now, Amazon EC2 is one large complex web service. Now, we know about Amazon web services, which are known as AWS. Mm, it is basically a very uh, profitable and uh, one of the most important uh, cloud services, which is basically available right now. EC2 provided an API for instantiating computing instances with any of its operating system supported. It can facilitate computations through Amazon machine images for various other models. Signature features of Amazon EC2 include S3 Cloud Management Console, MapReduce Cloud, Amazon Machine Image, AMI. Excellent distribution, load balancing, and cloud monitoring tools. Now I would like my friend uh, to continue the slide forward. Thank you. Okay, next slide please. Yeah. Google App Engine. This is uh, more a uh, web interface for a development uh, the environment that offers a uh, one-stop facility for design development and deployment, Java and Python based applications in Java, Go and Python. Uh, Google offers the same reliability, availability and scalability at par with Google's own, uh, own uh, applications, uh, comprehensive programming platform irrespective of the size and signature features are templates and apps for excellent monitoring and management console. Next slide. Uh, now comes the context, the big data. 
data mining huge uh, amounts of uh, data collected in a uh, wide range of domains from uh, astronomy to healthcare has become essential for planning and performance we are in a knowledge economy discover discovery of uh, uh, knowledge enabling discovery annotation of data complex computational models and uh, no single environment is good enough uh, so data is an important asset to any organization we are looking at uh, newer programming models and supporting algorithms now hitarth will end the ppt Thank you, Archon. Let's talk about public cloud versus private cloud. Rationale uh, for private cloud: security and privacy of business data was a big concern. Potential for vendor locking, cost saving of the shared model achieved because of the multiple projects involved in semantic technologies that the company is actively developing. Of computing. Uh, for the enterprise, what should it do? Revise cost model to utility-based uh, computing like CPU hour, per hour, GB per day, etc. Include hidden cost for management, training, defined cloud models for defined applications, evaluate, use for prototyping application and learn. Link it to the current strategy. Plans for services oriented architecture, disaster recovery, etc. So here are sir, uh, some references and useful links of our PPT. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Very good presentation.